New Star Wars with Bobby Leo on Prosperity really? Gospel, NFTs, like Capitalism, guy, you and You. This clip that went around the internet about it, one of the evangelical guys that he was talking about how expensive his watch was. He was like, <laughs> dude, it's so funny. To their face, he's like, this Six watch, months, this watch is more than my first check. house. That and they're rules. cheering. They're like, yeah. yeah! The prosperity gospel. He goes, this is this is eighty nine. Uh, these guys drive me fucking crazy. I know it is. It's insane. It's brilliant. I mean, it's I, re I respect it. It's such an incredible racket. By the way, they bought into it. I think it's that guy, Kenneth Copeland. Maybe that's the guy. But it's like, I don't feel bad for those fucking people. They bought into the system. Yeah, they're paying to be there. He's being blatant about it. He's just like, listen. I'm stealing money from you. <laughs> yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I don't think so. I think those motherfuckers are the worst of the worst because they like literally tie, they tie vulnerable people. Oh, God, I mean, he's making a joke. I should not take it super seriously. But like they tie poor people. They hook poor people into thinking that they, they will make money by fucking like giving the church money so that Kenneth Copeland can buy like a third private jet. You know what I mean? Hey, fucking Jesus Christ. This could be you someday. But, but you, know, I, you know what I do want to do with you though? While, while they're Googling this? Yeah. Is that guy that, you know, the guy that um takes, he's like an exorcist. So he goes to like, you know, you see that he goes to the Midwest. It's on YouTube. And they mm -hmm. fucking, oh, here it is. Let's and, see. And look at this. Watch talk this. demonic voice. Okay. Watch this. Yeah, I'm hesitating to say, I don't want to say, I'm going to get all kind of crazy and let people fight me. You'll have jewelry cost more in your house. <laughs> God damn. To their fucking, they're Wait, clapping. I'm Look telling you, listen to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. My first house cost $14,700. These guys literally fucking are like, money is Couple good. Goals. The bigger the number, the better the person. I have all the money. I'm fucking killing it. It's the nastiest fuck. I'm giving you a chance to write your check out. $14,700. My second house cost eighty-one thousand nine hundred dollars, and this watch costs more than that. God, he's awesome. <laughs> he's Boss. The best. The, the, the vibe. Are you gonna write me an ugly letter? These are great. Let me tell you what. No, no. <laughs> I can really give you. Some. I'm, These I, are I don't powerful mean that pride vibes. Fight. Honestly, they're not good, but they're powerful. That's insane, bro. To laugh at it. <laughs> to yeah. be like, this is more than all of you make in yeah. six years. <laughs> it's the best. And the laugh, and then the congregation's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the best. That's the cra that that to me. I don't blame them at all. I don't blame him at all. If you're buying into that, you're a fucking fool. I mean, that's America shit, dude. I don't mean to get all fucking give it to me. College, give it to me, give it to me. But man. that is the thing. It's like you know, everyone, every poor motherfucker thinks they're gonna be a billionaire, right? So you never, you never want to hold them accountable because you're like, well, oh my god, when I'm ultra rich, I'll do. That. I want to do that. Well, that's like that. Uh, what's a guy's? Why can't uh, Gary V? It's like yeah, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a uh, what's the other guy's name that does that a lot? Uh, I don't know the other Grant guy. Cardone. There's like a group of guys online that are like, if you're not fucking hustling, if you're not making fucking six million a year, <laughs> yeah. you're a fucking worthless piece of <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a fucking fat loser, <laughs> dick shit, yeah, and yeah. your wife is ugly, and your kids are fucking dumb fucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make six mil or kill yourself, dog. Yeah. Like, Gary, Gary V, it was his dad's <laughs> liquor store that he, like, took over. Is that his thing? Yeah, yeah. Well, but this thing, it's like, he's like, I was, he Nobody tells people, I worked at a liquor off store. one more time. Like, no. You owned it. You owned the yeah. liquor store. Like, that. that is the big difference. I can't not make fun of this guy, because he's like, no, I mean, here's the deal. It's like fucking, you gotta fucking sell your shoes. He was big on NFTs. By the way, it's, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. In 2014, if you well, asked me that you would have like famous comedians getting well, together and fucking unironically shitting on the wealthy in this way, I'd be shocked. This was like 90s had this kind of commentary regularly, okay? And then it fucking went away for some goddamn reason. Like there was, there were people who used to do That's this hot. shit, like uh, obviously George Carlin being one of the goats that did it all the time. And then basically... It just went away. Everyone was like, oh, cancel culture, cancel culture, cancel culture, cancel culture. Post 9-11, you know, Ahmed the dead terrorist. Like, it just, like, kind of ruined comedy in, in many, many ways. And now you're finally seeing, like, uh, like Joe Rogan has such a stranglehold on, like, what happens in the comedy scene unironically that, like, it's difficult to go against, like, whatever he sets the bar at because everyone does not want to offend him. That is the reality. He has a ginormous platform. He unironically has the capacity to basically make comedians. He can, okay? If Brendan Shop could like at least have a podcast where people pay him money to listen to him, then Joe Rogan can make anyone, okay? Cuz that motherfucker is literally like it, it is unironically more entertaining to watch paint chip away on a wall. Mr. Dicey Dicey has like multiple comedy specials and literally has a podcast with an audience on it, okay? That means Joe Rogan has an, an insane 
level of power in this scene. And everybody knows it. Everybody recognizes it. That's why, like, they, they don't want to offend him. Even if they don't agree with him, even if they think he's, like, kind of washed, they're just not, they're never going to offend him, right? So he kind of sets the tone of what people are going to, the, what people are going to be able to make fun of and shit. So I am excited to see that, like, these guys are just fucking straight. I mean, they're, they're goats. I mean, Bobby Lee's, like, obviously uh, a, a legend in and of itself. And I love Andrew Santino, too. I think he's a very funny guy. Uh, you know, I saw him, like, many years ago at Soho House on, like, a random Monday where he was doing, like, he was just doing, like, this random fucking, he was doing, like, a random tight five. I don't, but I was like, this dude's hilarious. Uh, Soho House member? No, I'm not a Soho House member. What the love fuck? You. Ew. Um, and, and by the way, these guys have all been helped out by Joe Rogan, too. Don't misunderstand me. I'm just saying and I still have a special place in my heart for Joe Rogan too, but like they don't want to offend the guy who who you know runs Sorry, the fucking. They don't want to. They don't want to stray too way, too far away from whatever the the markers are that is like appropriate for comedy, I guess. But it's fun and wonderful to see like successful comedians shit on rich people in the same way, wish. which <laughs> turned out to be a real fucking <laughs> yeah, fart yeah, world. Yeah. That's a real fucking scam. That dude. That was that. I I walked with a buddy of mine the other day. I was taking a walk, having coffee with a friend, and he, he stopped me. He goes, "Dude, Hoggers in the I chat. I can't be happier." than realizing how good it is to be behind the times when it comes to NFTs. Because he was like, he didn't buy into crypto or NFTs, yeah, and he was yeah. like, man, am I a dummy? I'm behind I'm the times. Everyone. He's like, I've never been happier to be behind the times type yeah. of guy who didn't get fucked. Like people that bought like 50 grand worth of uh, bored ape shit, oh. and now it's worth like six bucks. <laughs> Dumbasses, dude. That sucks. And Justin Bieber and all those guys are getting sued. Yeah, you know yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. FTX, because they, they paid them right to, 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 to fucking... Do- Basically, to promote it. it's basically shorting a stock. Yeah. It's like inflating, inflating, inflating. They're like, fuck you. Take yeah. all the money and then they yeah, leave. Yeah, Paris Hilton says it's good. Look yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah, dude. They're so right. They're it nailing it. Jimmy good. Fallon. Do you remember that, that video of Jimmy Fallon and Paris Hilton plugging their bored apes? No. On the Tonight Show. Glad you had yeah. that. No. I th- yeah, for real. And it was the most awkward. They clearly didn't believe it. Right. They did it on the Tonight Show. It was fucking crazy, dude. But yeah, this I mean it's all it's all such fucking dog shit. And it's I, the only pe- the only reason it happens is because of life in America is such dog shit that you're like, well maybe well, everybody wants to hit the, everybody wants to hit the lotto. Cuz it's all or nothing here. There's no good quality of life anymore. Right. No middle no middle class. I've never met Bobby Lee, no. <laughs> I agree. You know what? Though? I agree, you know, Clippy. Right? This Capitalism is... <laughs> cannot be the main no, thing. No, shut the no, fuck up. No, you're right. You're right. Capitalism let it, let it go. isn't the thing. It's the fucking. It, it's the fact that people are being sold so many lies. Monday, That's the seven. problem. It, it is religion it's, used to be capitalism, right? It's the thing <laughs> that controls the masses, right? Dumb people. Right? Stop it. What? Re- I mean, religion, ignorant people. Religion. Okay. Right, and now they use capitalism to do it and to enslave us all, and we just got to figure out how to just. You know, I agree with you, Bob. Become like free. Yeah. How do you become free? Don't do the gadgets. Don't buy the stuff. <laughs> you do all of it. You're smoking a vape. I bought $700 you're smoking... worth of fucking shoes today. Yeah, you're smoking a vape <laughs> with an I'm iPhone. I'm a slave. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you I'm a slave. We are, we I, are I, I don't want to be a slave anymore. You're not, a, fucked. You're, you're not a slave. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yeah, because it's like, there's somebody. Like, you're free. He's in a nice cage. Though. I was he, playing he's Tetris he's and, nice and, 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 and watching <laughs> Deep Space Nine on Star Trek, right, the other day, right? Sounds I was doing cool. something else. I was listening to music on my. Um, Can you imagine how offensive it is to slaves to say that you're a slave while you <laughs> huff a vape and play video games for nine hours a day? You I know, but sleep I'm till saying, four p.m. I'm, I'm, you know, I, mean? I yeah. want to get. Up. I want to wake up. Wake up! Yeah, and I want to be a zombie anymore. I text you at two p.m. Wake yeah, up! You're not out of out the And I want to wake up though. I so do, do, do. Lies. I do. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Then you talk that talk. Yeah. Talk that shit. We're gonna go. I, we're I, gonna like, st- I like being slain. Yeah. Oh, you Peloton. Okay. I do. I'm hey, I love part. Turner. Gonna go do the hard one. I'm not doing the Mar- Mariner one. Yes, you are. I'm not doing I'm the Mariner one. Big- Korean. <laughs> you are from Chosun Gobi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. mentioned here. It's gonna be <laughs> illegal. Hey, Stavros. <laughs> yes. Stavros. Yeah. Um, what podcast did you do earlier today? I was actually on my uh, friend Hassan's stream. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Who else? This week, have what have you done? Um, my Rogan came out today. I did. Um, Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did Fred Rogan. Oh, I, yeah, uh, I love that guy. He's, yeah, he's a he he's he's, a, he's an Eclairs podcast. Right. So we my, talk. My question talk is: Eclairs. Is this the, your favorite one so far? I'm having a blast on this one. Yes. No it, other. You, one. You've, you've not had fun as much fun as this one. No, this is more, this is so much what fun. The we fuck? come in here. Well, because this we is, get you pussy. We figure we, out. We'll how to I learned so much. From he you. brings <laughs> us cookies. We get you pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want honestly. I want you to fuck so like it so deep in my soul. 
<laughs> Truly, I really. I've why? Why did you so, roll your eyes? I've done it so many times. Yeah, but, what but he's talking about. I'm so good in there. No, well, here's the thing. I you're, am, dude. You're, <laughs> you're, it's so fucking funny that you say that because every girl looks at me and goes, "That's surprising." Wait, that's it? That's the only thing? That's why you guys wanted me to watch this because they mentioned me. I thought they were gonna. X he was right. Snakes everywhere. Has he been on Fear End? No, I couldn't put him on. Oh, it, scheduling didn't work out for pre, uh, Fear End. Chatters are so funny. <laughs> That's it, by the way. I watched it earlier. Azan, you're cool, but you ain't Bobby. Gotta be real. Yeah, no shit, dude. Of course. 